Well, Barney, the big news of the day is that Fabio Capello is going to be meeting John Terry to discuss his future as England captain. Uh, do you think he has a future as England captain? I think, putting aside for a second the fact that I think we can all agree the actual content of that conversation is too appalling to even think <laughs> about. The idea of them sitting there discussing the rules of dating, like a couple of queenie New York singletons, is obviously a horrible idea and very embarrassing. Um, but I think probably Capello will stand by his man and say he's just interested in the football side of things. Uh, I think most people probably do think John Terry shouldn't be England captain anymore, and I probably agree with them. Uh, but not because that means uh, I think the England captain is a very, very important thing that we should be worried about, or that it's got anything to do with moral guidance. Just because it's a ceremonial, totemic, fairly simple kind of thing, I think it should probably get someone else in. But what do you think, Barry? Well, to be honest, I'm struggling to care one way or the other, and the whole thing is starting to get very tedious, and uh, if rumours in circulation are correct, there could be a hell of a lot more to come. So that's, uh, if you pardon the expression, well, that's something to look forward to. <laughs> My only interest in the meeting, I'd like to be a fly in the wall just because I expect at some point Fabio Capello is going to have to ask him, uh, is there anything else I should know? At which point uh, it could resemble the scene in The Shield where Vic Mackey confesses all to the lady from the FBI and she's just left after about 20 minutes with her jaw on the floor. But... Um, yeah, I don't really care who, who the England captain is. Uh, like you say, it's, it's pretty much all your job involves is calling heads or tails. But do you think it all comes back to the fact that basically people don't like John Terry very much? Um, a newspaper editors don't like him because of his super injunction, his exclusive deal with the Sun. Uh, football fans don't like him because football is a tribal thing and he also has put people's backs up with this sort of sense of a slight kind of arrogance about him. Do you think it all just basically comes down to people don't like John Terry that much? Totally, yeah. Um, I have no great feelings about him one way or the other. I don't know the guy. He's probably an okay bloke, but he doesn't uh, conduct his affairs in, in any sense of the word very well. Um, but yeah, th this whole captaincy debate is, is just a handy excuse. Don't you think it's really shoehorned in though, the idea there's going to be a rift in the dressing room over this? It's Wayne Bridge's ex-girlfriend. I mean, my view is that if the dressing room's upset about that, the dressing room needs to grow some balls <laughs> and get with the 21st century and, and, and stop thinking that this has basically got anything to do with them. You know, suck it up. Um, I think it's very childish if they're particularly bothered about that and it stops them playing football as well as they might have done. And, and there's also a feeling that well, well, Wayne Bridge should possibly have come out and said, look, this has nothing to do with football. I mean, he, he seems to be just uh, sitting back and, and watching John Terry squirm. So if Terry does get the bullet, who do you think should replace him? It's very difficult, isn't it? Because if you, if you get rid of John Terry, you're saying that moral probity is one of the preconditions of being England captain, which kind of cuts the field down <laughs> quite a bit. I don't know, you know. Um, that's one problem. I mean, obviously it rules out quite a few of the obvious candidates. There's no need to name the names. But also, it's just a horrible idea. I mean, at the end of it, the whole England team is going to become a kind of circus uh, at the mercy of tabloid kiss-and-tell stories, which perhaps it already is.